gentlemen, I intend to prove that Mr. Townsend stole, looted people's material. And I'm happy to prosecute because I didn't even think to prosecute when he took my material. Like, I do material on how you can't disrespect the woman of the 90s. Where are the strong women of the 90s at? Let me hear you go. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right. Because, like, think about it. Think about it. Sweetheart, help me out here. If I came up to you in the mall, and that old-fashioned black man, wait, what? <laughs> hey, girl. What's your name? Probably tell me, wouldn't tell me, would you? Wouldn't tell me, of course not, and rightfully so. But what if I came up and I said, oh, so fine perfection of a black woman. If beauty were a minute, you'd be an hour. If beauty were a flower, you'd be a rose. If beauty were an automobile, you'd be a solid gold Rolls Royce classic. If beauty were a street, you'd be a country road in the state of Wisconsin leading to the beautiful Lake Geneva where the sky is blue. The air, the air is so fresh, and the flowers are blooming. And if your beauty were exemplified through sweets, you'd be the rarest form of German chocolate made in Germany, and I'd eat you. She'd tell me her name then, wouldn't she? She'd be like, uh, did you say something about eating me? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, Mr. Townsend, he sold it, my joke. He cooked it, it. he used it. it. And I plan to prosecute. At this point, I have to call to the stage, to the stand, if you will, a witness that you have seen on HBO. You've seen him down on Venice Beach. You know him and you love him. In the his ass, Michael Collier. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Michael Collier. Learned, Mr. Prosecutor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Mr. Judge. This man is a damn thief. <laughs> I did not want to point it out. They called me forth. And yes, I do old jokes myself. There's nothing wrong with that. But I give credit where credit is due. You see, I feel like this. I don't think an old joke should die just because the person that wrote it did. <laughs> he can't use it no more. If a man died and I tell you the joke, you tell it at work, you're a hero and there's no royalties pay. Oh, but this gentleman here steals blatantly. Blatantly. What is the difference, you say, between him and I? I borrow. He steals. But how do we stop such a thing? Well, we as comedians, must do the type of material he can't steal. We must do something from our own lives. I'm gonna give you a quick slice of what I do because I am an addict. Oh yes, I did crack for two and a half years. I've been clean and sober for almost four. I talk about it everywhere I go. Hey! Hey! Anybody else? Anybody else had crack besides me? And I didn't do a little. Anybody tell you they did a little, they lied. You can't do a little crack, crack like Lay's potato chips. You can't have just one. You start smoking crack, you become the ever-ready battery rabbit. You keep going and going and going. Oh, people, people. I did so much crack one day, I broke into my own house. I'm not lying. I was halfway out the door with the TV before I realized it was my place. And before I broke in, people, People, before I broke in, I used to stand outside and case the joint. <laughs> finally, finally, I said, damn, this brother don't never come home. <laughs> That's the stuff he can't steal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you with one old joke that he's welcome to take and run home with. This joke is 47 years old. The man that wrote this joke died 23 years ago last Friday. <laughs> you can use it. He won't. <laughs> it's called the airplane joke. Little boy wanted to be an airplane pilot. <laughs> so his mommy broke down, bought him a toy plane. He's in the front yard playing that plane. 
Oh, you suck up getting knocked out. All you people want to get the hell in, you better get the hell in. All day long, he's playing with that plan. All you folks getting the hell out, you better get the hell out. All you folks getting the hell in, you better get the hell in. Finally, the mother broke down. She decided to open that window. Look outside and see how Billy's playing. There's Billy with that plane. All you people getting the hell out, get the hell out. All you folks getting the hell in, she says, Billy, I can't believe you're using this kind of language. You get in this house. Stand in that corner till you get your attitude together. <sighs> Three hours later, the mother comes back. Billy, I hope you learn your lesson. Now go on outside and play right. Billy's outside with the plane. <laughs> All you people getting the hell out, get the hell out. All you people getting the hell in, get the hell in. Now, anybody pissed off about that three hour layover? See the bitch in the window. <laughs> Pretty tough. <laughs> I had those con, those cons, you know, laughing for three days. <laughs> then I ran out of material. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But everything's cool now. But I, you know, I'm working on my own stuff. You know, I'm working on this new bit about. Baby, I got it. <laughs> you got the promotion. Yes, Martin. And Pam got bumped up to my old job, Martin. Wait, wait a minute. Buckshots got bumped up. BDB got bumped up. Yes, Martin. BDB Buckshot got bumped up.